I noticed Graham just uploaded a video, and since I just started reacting to her, I might as well keep going. Her video is 18 minutes long. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I'm just gonna scroll through it, see what I find interesting, and we're just gonna touch that topic. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. My Grammy family is Grams Jacket checking in, and I'm back with another banger. I wouldn't call As them banger. It's just you walking around she talking. The apartment, so we gotta let her do her little big one. She can have a little shot. She fit to go. That's what. We but people are very interested in her life because of the drama, and I'm here to react to drama. I don't like when things are too positive because that's not real life I'm, re I'm a realist there's ups and downs i want to i want to see it all but that's why i'm reacting because guess what we're gonna have a party where she's not around it's like no what to do what it is what it ain't y'all who that is off of work you're probably wondering why my voice is so deep the day has came i'm i've been waiting to tell you guys I, i'm going to puberty i take tea shots um i wanted to get let you know on camera that I'm gonna be transitioning. Okay, no, listen, I'm gonna transition and I don't want y'all calling me Erica no more. That's disrespectful and it's offensive. <laughs> Call me Aaron. No, that's still. Okay, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Eric Jr. Just drop the A. <laughs> Call me Eric Jr. because I am now entering a different phase of life being a stud just wasn't <laughs> being a stud wasn't working for me anymore guys as you can see i got booted out the gay community and now <laughs> i just want to that's funny be who i was born to be who i always thought i was you used to people calling me zaddy i've been going by daddy but now i'm that nigga so i appreciate you guys respecting my new pronoun that I'm introducing to y'all today. So let me stop playing like that. I was gonna say, girl, you better stop. stop. Cause I, I, don't, I don't play with that shit. It's already hard for the trans community to even breathe out in this world. And I'm saying in the world, not just here in the US. The type of person that gets treated the worst are the black trans man to woman. So I don't play with that shit. I don't fuck with that shit, I'm not going to. Cause a lot of lives are being taken because of who they are. So girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the baby got canceled. You know. He was playing like this. No, but he was saying something about homosexuality. He was being. He was being mean. He got canceled. I ain't saying that mean. I'm playing. Jk, Jk. Okay. Those what? are cute. Those are cute. What you got on T-Mobile Tuesday? Who is that girl? It, I hope she's just like a friend, friend, like a friend, 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 not a friend with benefits type of shit. Because, girl, I'm tired of the women you be putting on YouTube all the time. Stop putting these girls on here. If you are fucking with her, I give it a couple months, she's going to be making a video. Instead of Nick and Carla, she's going to come to mine. And <laughs> we're going to do an interview. <laughs> Why the hell not the state in the group that anybody is with? It's so fat shit, but I ain't. Do you guys know who this girl is? Can you comment below? You got to do it when you don't feel like doing it. You got to do it when you can't do it. You got to do it. But nobody else gonna do it. This is prime example. It's prime example. Let's get out here and get it every day. Rain, sleet, snow, and hell. Remember that. Oh shit. She really does shower with her underwear on. I was on my live celebrating my 7,000 subscribers and 1.1 million views on my channel. And someone on my chat said that she showers with her underwear on. I thought she was trolling. I thought it was just a little gossip. I, that shit's real. I don't judge it. I'm just curious to know why. 
some people have traumatizing experiences and they do certain things because of it. But I want to know Graham's reason. Girl, why are you in that shower with that underwear on? How are you going to clean your coochie? Oh, she does take it off. <laughs> the bitch does take it off. I ain't no touch me not, but I am the type of person that I'm, I'm selective about who sees me naked. So. Okay, so she brought that up because Ari said that she was a touch me not. So what Grams is saying right now is that it's not that she's a touch me not. She just didn't want Ari to touch her. So I don't know who is telling the truth. But I will say Ari's been honest this whole time, so I don't know. Just because Grams is a liar does not mean she lies all the time. Every single sentence coming out of her mouth is not always a lie, you know? So I don't I know. Talk to somebody and they told you they never seen me naked. It's because they didn't deserve that. Know the difference between, some, know the difference between taking information from somebody that was temporary versus somebody that I was with long term. I'm with you on that. Anybody that's been with me for over two plus years, they could say they've seen me naked. And Damn, it, two plus years, girl? That long, though? No, there's something else deep-rooted than that. But like I said, I don't judge it. The reason why I don't judge it is because I myself am, am in the asexual spectrum. I am demisexual. So... I literally, and it's not a choice, you know, some people out here choose to only have sex with people they're in love with or choose to have sex when they get married. It's not a choice for me. I literally do not find you sexually attractive. Literally do not. Just by dating or just by physical attraction. No, I need to be emotionally intimate with you and connected with you in order to be sexually attracted to you. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot, but do your research and look into demisexual. You will understand what that means. But I do lean more towards the asexual side, though. So it's, it's a little complicated. This is why I don't judge people for their sexuality. I just have questions, that's all. I'm trying to learn. I'm kind of ignorant to touch me nots and the reason for it. So let me learn your reason. I'm not a touch me not. I'm not gonna say what I do, how I do it in the bedroom, but I just know if you didn't get to experience that in the bedroom, it wasn't meant for you too. So why do you think they deserved to be pleased by you? Somehow they deserved something. You see how it's a little, it's not making sense, but it's making sense. That's grams for you. Yeah. I'm probably wondering why I be getting in the shower with my drawers on. To be honest with you guys, it's a formed habit. I've been doing that since I was like eight, nine, ten years old. When I was younger, I thought I was a boy born into a girl's body. So when I used to get in the shower, I used to not want to see like my private area because I, at that time, I didn't have no chest, but. I didn't want to see my private area. I didn't want to be reminded that I wasn't a boy. So I started off getting in the shower with my drawers. So are you telling us that you are trans? Because that's what trans experience. So, okay. Now, of course I take them off after I've been in the shower, but mentally, I kind of like train myself to like feel like a boy. That's when interesting. I And I said when I was in college. That's something you should uh, get a therapist for. You know, therapy is not just there for you whenever you're going through something negative or you're going through bad times. It's not just for that. Therapy also helps you understand yourself a little better and answer questions that you've been questioning your whole life. Something like that would be a, um, a good topic to talk about with your therapist. Maybe you'll have a better understanding since eight, nine or 10 years old that why you still can't as an adult at 36 still just take off your underwear before you get in the shower. When I was younger, I used to want to get a sex change and move to a different state and change my name. Mm. Now my, my name is my nickname is Erica. So I was like, I wanted a unisex name that I could change it to. So I was like, when I move, when I get my surgery, Changed my name to Aaron. So when I finally came out of the closet and accepted myself for who I was, I, I was I'm okay with being a female. Nothing wrong with anybody that want to transgender. But I ended up, as time going by, accepting myself, loving myself for okay. who I was. Okay. And I decided to just. Maybe there was a bit of confusion because 
Maybe at that young age, she realized she liked girls. And the people around her growing up were only boys liking girls. So if only boys like girls, then that, means, that must mean I'm a boy. Because I also like wearing boy clothes, so I must be a boy. That can be a very confusing state at that time. Especially when you're surrounded with just heteros your whole life. So I get that. It's making a little sense. You know, kill the thought of wanting to get a sex change. Because it would require too much. It would require me having to explain to my niece and nephews who I really am and shit like that. So I deaded that whole thought and I left Aaron in the closet. So that's when I changed. That's why when I popped out with my clothing line, I was like, I'm going to bring Aaron back to life. And I'm going to put Aaron in everybody else's closet. So that's how Aaron Finesco came I, out. I like that. I, li I like how she worded that. Dream of me trying to change who I was. And then I accepted who I was. And I felt like me accepting who I was, which is a female that likes women, that means that I have to leave my old self behind, which was Aaron. So I brought Aaron out the closet to put in your closet. Yeah. Good story. I like that story. Okay. All right, we're going to end the video there because she's back in the Uber ride. And listen, I don't I just woke up and I don't have the patience to listen to another Uber rant. <laughs> I just don't. Not right now. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Don't forget to like, comment and share my video. So, I mean, if y'all like me, y'all support me, y'all would do that for me, right? All right, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Peace.